We've got our prompt for our users. They get a little input box that comes up, ask them for how they want to sort the list. A number one for division, a number two for category, and a number three for total sorts. Now, we've got the prompt, but we need to build the logic using an if statement to determine what the user put in and then directing it to the proper sorting procedure. Okay. So I'm back inside of my VBA window, got my user sort input procedure, got our little input box up there. Our user input is now equal to the results, one, two, or three, that the user types in. So now down below that, I'm just gonna hit my enter key a couple times, I'm gonna build an if. I'm gonna say if user input, that's our variable, right, is equal to one, then I want to do something. Get my end if in there. So if user input equals one, then what do we want to do? Well, a one means sort by division. So I want to come down here, I want to make a call to the division sort. I need to run this action right here. Sort the selection by range A4, which is the division column. Well, in order for me to run this based on user input being one, I just call it by name. I'm gonna grab the name right here, just copy that, come up here, I'll paste it in. And I've now made a call to the division sort procedure. So if user input equals one, it runs this. Now I've got two other sorting methods, number two and number three. So I'm gonna use an else if, well, if you're not one, then let's check to see if user input equals two. If it's equal to two, then we wanna do a category sort, which is the next sorting method down below. Now that's for one and two, let's do one more. I got another else if user input equals three, then we'll do a total sort, which is the last procedure inside this module. So with a little bit of logic, we got input from the user. Building in that logic, we can determine what the user typed in and then directing them to the specific procedure. You type in a one, you sort your list by category. You type in a two, you do it by division. Type in a three, you do it by total. So let's try this out. I'm gonna get my windows side by side each other here. There's my list. Looks like it's currently sorted by category. I wanna do it by division. So I'm gonna click into my procedure. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the run button. There's my nice little prompt. I'll type in a one, watch my division. I'm gonna hit okay. That value is gonna get passed into the variable and then into my logic. And I'm sorting it by division. East comes first, then north, then south, then west. Alphabetical ascending order. Let's do that again. I'm gonna click back into there. Hit the run button. I'll type in a two. Remember two is by category, the B column. I'll hit okay. And now I'm sorting it by category. With just a, a little bit of VBA, we're creating a much more automated, intuitive interface. You can now put a button on the worksheet. User clicks the button to sort brings up the prompt, they got three choices, you can tie it to a shortcut key, but you're automating the experience, saving time. Try this out, build in your logic. You got your message box, you got your input box. Now build in the if logic. You got your initial if, two else ifs, because you got three options. Just make a call to the proper sorting procedure. So nail this one down. We got one more thing we wanna do here, and I'll talk some more about that in the next video, but. Get this done first, and then we'll jump into the next one.